Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the heart of Bergen County. A lot of people here, they like to put in an outdoor kitchen, put in a grill. They're not really sure how to use it. So we have developed a brand new series called Rubscapes. But we not only show you how we put the grill in, we also show you how to use it. Here's your host, John Acapinti. That's right, Doug. Not only do we build you the best darn outdoor kitchen possible, I brought to you today the best chef in the world, John Ayaketti, and he's my co-host. In today's episode, we're going to cook chicken milanese, coconut rice, and rack of lamb. Stay tuned. I'm John with Field of Dreams Landscaping. We build a lot of stuff. We build outdoor patios, ponds, and outdoor kitchens. When you build an outdoor kitchen, you're gonna want to start cooking on it. You may have some experience, you may not. So what Grubscapes is, is a collaboration between John Iacchetti, one of the top chefs in Bergen County, and myself, John Acapinti, with Field of Dreams Landscaping. Today is an exciting day because uh, collaborating with John Acapinti from Field of Dreams and we're here in his backyard and this is what he does. He uh, builds these beautiful outdoor kitchens with this pond behind us and uh, he's now getting phone calls from people that he's putting kitchens in and nobody knows what to do, right? You put this beautiful pizza oven in and how do you use it? Like you get, you get a manual, here's the manual, make, make some pizza, put a, put a flatbread in. So what we do is that once he puts it in, I come with him and I show the homeowner how to use the pizza oven. But it's just not about pizza. You can do rack of lamb. You can do grilled shrimp, short ribs, uh, steamed clams, crab cakes. Uh, you name it, whatever the customer or the guest wants, we just make for them. My favorite dish, if I had to pick one, which is really tough because as you can tell, I do try a lot of dishes. And that's one of the downsides of knowing John, I'm going to have to my tailor soon. Um, I would think my favorite dish, he makes an awesome mustard crusted lamb chop. That's just to die for. So the key to this dish is, is using local ingredients. Um, we have local corn. We have local peaches. The lamb is coming from a farm in upstate New York. And as you can see here, we took the rack of lamb, we rubbed it with salt and pepper, a little garlic oil, and I took a lime, cut it in half, and put everything on the grill. And you'll see now the, the fire is starting to char, the, the lime is starting to get really dark. As that's happening, I then season the lamb with salt and pepper. I add some garlic oil to it, and then I squeeze the lime right onto the lamb. We then transfer it to the top of the grill. As that's happening, I take my bowl, I take our peaches, we're going to chunk them or quarter them, mix it with some salt and pepper, add a little cane sugar to that, olive oil. And then we take those peaches and we throw them on the grill. And I say throw, we're not just picking them up and throwing them, we're just placing them on the grill. So you're gonna see some fl flame, you got some flavors going on. So now it's probably about eight to 10 minutes that the lamb is cooking. The corn's starting to turn, you're gonna see the husk catches on fire every once in a while. You keep turning it. There's a roasted pepper that we throw on there. This is some flavor. And by this time, we know that the lamb's ready to go and you'll start seeing us probing it. And the lamb should go to 120, 125, let it set. And you see that the juices are no longer running, it's gonna firm up. We take our peaches off the grill. We take off our corn. Our corn, then we take it out of the husk and we cut the corn off the cob. So what you're doing is, is vertically holding the corn up and you're slicing down and taking the kernels off. You're mixing the peaches with the corn. The lamb's already cut, as you can see. You put the peaches and corn on the plate. 
for the lamb on top of it. A little balsamic drizzle. Plate it, and there you go. The interesting thing about my restaurant is that everybody thinks that I cook everything, and I just can't. I have a great kitchen staff. I have a great chef whose name is Sal. Without Sal, this restaurant, my restaurant, Ali Kenny's Kitchen, would not be where it is today. Sal handles the day-to-day. -day. He executes, he's strategic about what we bring in, the quality of the food, and uh, he's the one that really makes the kitchen hum. And uh, the, all the, the local ingredients are because of Sal, and uh, he's the one that really puts together the menu and really makes everything work for us. My parents used to have a restaurant called Sal Anthony's across that, and I grew up there. They opened it when I was five. They closed down for, uh, 13 years later. I ended up going to Bergen Tech for culinary. I worked at the Ridgewood Country Club as their banquet chef for four years, went to culinary school. Um, I went to Culinary to America at uh, Hyde Park. And, you know, I just, this is always what I've ever done. You know, I've never done anything else. And seeing people happy is always important. So I used to work for John's friend Kenny at the Ridgewood Country Club doing banquets. And then I left there and went to go work in a different restaurant. And Kenny called me up and said, you know, my buddy John's opened up a restaurant. So I went to go check it out and I got hired the day they opened. My first day there was the day they opened. And uh, you know, John, uh, John's had a lot of great things for me. He's taught me a lot of different things and put me in charge of his kitchen. So it's pretty good. So uh, for the coconut rice, we took um, onions, um, small dice, small dice or celery, fresh coconut, uh, basmati rice, a little bit of garlic, some brown sugar, and you're going to take your fresh coconut that you cracked open and pour all the coconut and water on top of that, the juice from the coconut on top of that. You're going to let it, um, you're going to mix it up a little bit, cover it in some tin foil, and then cook it until it, the water evaporates, and that's it. I am Kenny cooking, take one. My name is Mike Satani from Central Bergen Auto Repair. We repair automobiles. John Iacchetti wanted to uh, make my favorite meal my mother-in-law. I go to South America, where my mother-in-law's from, or when she comes here, the first thing she does is asks me what I want for dinner. And I just look at her, and she knows already to make my favorite meal, which is the coconut rice that she makes and the chicken melonese. My favorite, the best I ever had. John Iacchetti wanted to duplicate it. Well, Michael, now that we've got the coconut rice out of the way, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it's as good as your mother in laws I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't lie either, because she will see this. You know something? Even if yours is better, I'm gonna tell you it's not. <laughs> you can't, forget it. She won't be happy with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, no. Absolutely. But okay, so it's coconut rice, chicken milanese. Now everybody makes a chicken milanese. Yeah, What's absolutely. special about her chicken milanese? It's the spices, whatever she does to the breading. It's, it, it, it's like, if you eat one, you have to eat 50. You can't stop. What's in the breading? I have no idea, she won't try it. So in other words, you're <laughs> keeping it a family secret. I she have to do it all absolutely away. doing it, yeah. Yeah. So I'm really shooting in the it's, dark. Yeah, so absolutely. I shot in the dark with the coconut rice. Yes, you did. I shot in the and dark awesome, now with the, the chicken milanese. Yeah. Now we're going to show you how we make our chicken milanese. But I have to say one thing. The cutlets are always thin, right? right. Organic chicken, we brine them the day before. Yes. We bone them out. We pound them down a little bit. We make them thin. So that's the key to my milanese. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you how we do it. Okay? Very good. You ready to help though? I'm, I'm ready You're to help. help. I'm, I'm, but yeah. you can't give away our family secret. I will now. not give away okay. your family secret. Absolutely, Absolutely not. No, 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 I will not. Okay, so this will is what not. we're going to do. Chicken's ready to go. Like I said, we brined it the day before. We boned out the chickens. We pounded them down so you have a thin chicken cup. Okay? Very good. This, now, this is where I need your help because whenever you do this, one hand gets dirty, the other hand gets wet, and you got next thing you know, you I have mummy fingers and all that. Yes, okay? yeah, I know. So, what we're going to do is this. I'm going to take a chicken cutlet out. Yes. Sir. I'm gonna put it in the in the flour. Okay. Gotcha. 
Once it's dredged in the flour, and you want it lightly dredged so it holds onto the egg. Drops the egg. This hand is the key. So you always use you bread with your left and your egg with your right. Okay? So you mix it up, you drop off the egg, and you put in the breadcrumbs. Okay, this is where I need you now. I thought you were going to use your foot. No, no, no. please. This is the I would normally say I would use a wrench because Michael is the owner of Central Bergen and Service in Bergenfield. But that joke can go over that well, I guess. <laughs> well, there you go. So, Michael, now what are you doing? I'm breading the chicken. Okay, and you have a clean hand and a dirty hand, right? I have a clean hand and a dirty hand. Beautiful. Where's the chicken going? You didn't tell me. On my plate right there. There you go. So now the key now is once we get the chicken breaded, yes. I'll start the next one, right? Clean hand, dirty hand. That is my favorite mother-in-law doing with two hands. <laughs> oh, please. I, I have no idea. I like to be a fly on the wall there, I'll tell you <laughs> that. Again, once you, once you braid it. I don't think she uses flour. She doesn't? I don't think so. Oh, no. boy, I you're gonna get so. in trouble. You're telling us a secret. <laughs> Your mother-in-law's gonna be proud. It's a lot of pressure. Okay. Do you know what it's like to go against my mother in law? <laughs> I love you, my mother in law. Trust me. That's what... Okay, now you're ready to go. So, once they're ready, now we're going to walk over to the grill and we're eventually going to now saute them. Okay. In this kitchen, which John designed, not only does he have a pizza oven and a refrigerator, we now have a pellet stove that you'll see on the other side, and now we have this great barbecue. Awesome. It's cool, right? He really did a great awesome. job. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll be able to use this now to cook our chicken cutlets or, or our chicken milanese, right? Okay, so you kept them separate. You want your oil hot. So your pan's on the stove, on the barbecue. That was one of hot. my mother in law secrets. Make sure if the pan was hot, the oil was hot. Right, that's the key because yeah. you don't want it to be greasy. Correct. Right? Right. If, you have, if you have a cold pan and cold oil, you have, you have a greasy cutlet. So you don't want to put too many in the pan because otherwise you take away the temperature. Yep. Still the two. Gotcha. You're almost like my favorite mother. <laughs> there we go. At least I got favorite in you somewhere, right? Okay, you got the tongue. It's all yours. It's all mine. Yep. You gotta wait. You gotta wait a couple minutes. So now you're waiting for it to cook, and it's it probably takes about three minutes on each side. Okay. So you want to you don't want to burn, but you want it crispy and brown, golden brown. And then once it's ready, you flip it over. At home, people that do it at home, the key is to be able to um, make sure the oil's hot. You have a, you start with a hot pan, you add your chicken to it or your or your cutlet to the pan, and you just want again, you want to hear it. You hear it. You're smelling it now. And if you can smell it through the camera, you can really see the way the way this smells like chicken now. It smells like it's almost like um, what does it smell like, to you, Michael? That's chicken no one ate. Like, very small. I like <laughs> There we go. I'm hungry. Oh, it looks really good. So let's hope I'm able to compete with your mother in law's chicken hey, no one hey, hey, I hope not, guys. Because, oh. I've been sitting on the side waiting for this one. Are we done yet or what? Finally, you're here. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're set I'm to here. go. <laughs> so we're set to go. Good. John's here perfect. So we're all together. So we're ready to start plating. Coconut rice is here. We put that on our platter. Here's the Milanese salad. This is how we do it, right? That's there. Chicken cutlets that go right on top. So, John, it's all yours. You can use the tongs. Chicken cutlet right on top. All right. Awesome. I get first dibs on this, too, by the way. Yeah. yeah. See, I would just Beautiful. Throw this, I would throw this on and start eating, but I guess I have to make it look Nice. Should I try to have this one on my own? That's all yours. Okay. <laughs> that's what tomorrow's sandwich. All right. And then. And then, grab a so that's our salad, right? Some mixed greens, got some baby tomatoes, mozzarella. It's looking good. Let's get some mozzarella in there. Pickled onions, oh. olives, artichokes, pickled I think, onions. right? Yeah, it's pickled onions. You gotta mix it a little bit, John. You want to get some, you want to get some, make it a little moist. So is this like mixed with cement? Oh, no, not really. Not quite, huh? <laughs> no. There we go, you're gonna okay. garnish it. This one fell off, that's mine. There you go. <laughs> and finally, just a little, Balsamic glaze. Wow. It's looking really good. Michael, what do you think, pal? I don't know. I have to try it first. There I you go. To, can I Set try to it? go. <laughs> We're ready to try it. There we go. Cheers. Whoa. Mm. Oh. John. Awesome. Like it? Thanks, John. I've never had your mama, but this is great. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Michael. Awesome. Thanks, John. Oh.
try that rice. Rice is good. Oh. <laughs> Alright, cut. I'm thinking this, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, Michael Satani just killed me. It was it was stressful, a lot of fun, but a lot of stress. And I couldn't live up to his bone lord's coconut rice. But let's just do some dessert. And what? Did, did you just say dessert? Oh, look who it is! Thank you. Perfect timing. Made it just in time for dessert. My favorite. Oh, How are you? I brought some flowers. Oh, beautiful! So Kim oh. Dennis from Dennis Flowers and Gifts in New Milford, she makes the best. Holiday gift baskets, regular gift baskets, flower arrangements, you name it, she does it. And here she is. You name well, it, I do, but I don't do dessert. So oh, but, oh, please, I need your I'm help. I'm excited. Though, but you are artistic. Yes. And I got some, I have raspberries and chocolate chips and cane sugar and powdered sugar. And Ruth poured some vanilla ice cream. Oh, so I have thanks, a helper. Ruth. And actually, I'm going to take a step back. This is oh, all God. yours now. Well, this isn't my usual medium, but I'll give it a go. So I, I have raspberries, chocolate chips, cane sugar. They're not flowers, but I know what you can do. I've seen it. It's beautiful. Look at this. This is beautiful. Some colors. So, right. Well, what yeah. are we making today, anyway? Well, I just heard dessert, and my stomach was well, like, I'm here. We did something a little different. We put together a chocolate lava cake. Oh, my and the best thing about the chocolate lava cake is that we're pulling it from a hot oven. Again, the pizza oven that John installed. So in the restaurant, we use a wood-fired oven. Here, we're using this pizza oven. And you go ahead and start. I'll pull a lot You'll of pizza. You'll get the, Is that okay? Real. That's perfect. Let's uh, see what we do here. I perfect. don't really know. Like I said, not my usual medium, but I am a florist, so I'll make a flower. Oh, cool. So we'll just do that. And we'll do some of those. Now, John has the best food ever, so I haven't actually haven't had to have a chance to have his dessert, so I am. Super excited, Oh, this John. is the first time. Here this is go. my first dessert with you. Beautiful. The food I know is fabulous, so I have high expectations. Look at but this I know flower. You are, yeah. Forget Gorgeous. me. My flower would have been like a, a wilted rose, a, a tulip that doesn't have enough water. Look at this. Oh, so is yeah. that a sunflower? This is uh, just a happy flower. Happy yeah, flower. Yeah, there really we know. go. Maybe it's a sunflower. It's whatever <laughs> flower you want it to be. It's about to be devoured okay. with this lava cake. Here we go. Are you ready for me? Um, almost. Hold on. Okay. Final details here. Final details, guys. It's all in the details. Do a two-leaf, two-leafer. All right. Almost ready. Are they ready? Uh, it looks like we're ready. Am I putting it on or are you putting it on? Um, you put it on so I don't mess this up. Oh, boy. Here all it right. comes. All right. I'm ready. There we oh go. Oh, my God. My husband's so, going to regret not being here tonight. There we go. Right in the center? Right in the center. Crown look at it, it's starting to melt already. So the best thing about this lava cake is that you're going to look at, you're going to put on the plate, you're going to cut it, it oozes chocolate, and then from there, Kim will decorate whatever she wants. Oh, okay. Do we have whipped cream? Or we have ice cream? I have whipped cream, I what's have ice usual, cream. What's the usual pairing? It's usually ice cream, right? Let's put both. Okay, let's just put everything, guys. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Let's just put, like, everything. Well, it's so funny because we did a kids' class, a dessert class. That's so cool. And we had, we had a class in the restaurant for eight kids. And they ended up doing brownie sundays and that's what you kind of do at the store too for your flowers yes right? we do flower classes which are super fun um but now i know where i'm signing my kids up and i i feel like your waitress is probably like Beautiful. nailed this way better than i do but so, so. but yeah we should do like a flower we should do just like a dinner party class That'd be cool. where we set the table and then we do we learn how to make all the food and then, you know, John gives us some landscaping tips. I think that would be nice. And then we can hang out and drink wine. Yeah, that's the perfect, that's the crown jewel. Okay, here we go. All How right. about that? I don't want to screw it up. Uh, it, it, it's not this. It's all about the here we go. eating it anyway, right? Okay, you're set to go. Looks good, can I eat it? Cut ready to, it's all yours. I'm ready. I always come at the right time. Get a little ice cream. Get what could be better? Ice. How lucky are we? We have Kim here decorating. Inside John's kitchen, right? Feel the dreams. Oh, look who it is. I'm going to forget about building kitchens. I'm going to be the quality Yeah, get in there. There's no screw in it. Wait a minute. Where's the spoon? I don't have spoon. Don't worry, I got you covered. Oh, you got it? Get in there. See? It doesn't matter the flour. You just mess it all up with a lot of cake. Delicious. 
Good. Awesome. Now we can't forget. Now who shot this for us, though? Who who is the one behind this, Doug? There's the guy behind the camera. Maybe we can get him to come That's around. All right, here. come on, Doug. Yeah. Doug. Let's go, Doug. We need him. Now we can't forget Ruth, right? Where's Ruth now? Ruth is important. Ruth. We need the lady of the house, please. Come on in here, Ruth. We need you, Ruth. This is the brains behind the operation. The beauty and the brains. I didn't bring anything to the table. It's, it's all here. If it wasn't for Ruth, she gave us her house today. And if you saw behind the scenes, the best thing we made, but thank you, Ruth. Thank you. Uh, you. We love you, Ruth. Our stomachs love you. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. And we're still. And then we have one more guest. Where's Doug? The guy behind the camera. Doug, Doug, Doug. Doug. Guys, this has been amazing. Wonderful, wonderful job here. Yeah. This is awesome. Thanks, Thanks great Doug. Job. And no we, we did this because of Doug. I mean, Doug, just, yeah. this would not have happened yes. without Doug, Doug, Doug experience. Thank Doug. you. I appreciate You're it. the man, Doug. And <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, so listen up. This is a brand new series. We're having a lot of fun here. We made a lot of good stuff. We're going to have future episodes. We need you guys to tune in. So thank you guys for watching. Right up, So please like and subscribe. Share with your friends, and we can't wait to share these backyard barbecues with you at home. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. See you next time.